Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. There's also the issue of government overreach of them dictating a small business owner when they can and cannot open. I mean, right. with the and as a small business owner, it's it's hard, man. We have people that rely on us to, you know, feed them and their families. They need a paycheck. And, mm -hmm. you know, the government, you know, the SBA program f debacle, all of that. Oh, yeah. That did, no, nobody, the only companies that benefit from that, from that were the companies that weren't supposed to take part in that in the first place mm -hmm. until they changed <sighs> the rules. It I went can't from, even believe that. It's, it's ridiculous. They went from yeah. 500 people to 500 people per location yeah and that's, how, that's how is how that a small work. business oh wait a second exactly if your small business employs 500 people in one location you're still a small business yeah Not but you don't see the, you don't see the outcry about that and it, it, it's crazy to think that 49 percent of the small businesses that uh really need that money didn't get it yeah and then they rolled out and you know full disclosure Ballistic Inc. didn't apply for that. We didn't need it. We weren't in a position where we needed that. Okay. But if we did, we wouldn't have got it anyways. No. Uh, the pay, the How pay many check employees do you have? You don't have enough employees to be a small business. How many yeah, do you no have? kidding. Five. Five. Uh, no, not so, enough. You need, not you need enough. to times that by 100 more. <laughs> so, yeah. and then you have the PayPal protect, uh, protection program, which was supposed to be like some type of like, you know, wait, wait, low. Wait, wait. Like, uh, hold why on. There was a PayPal protection program? Payroll. Uh, no, payroll. Uh, payroll. 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 You got yeah, the wrong sorry. thing on the brain. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> payroll I heard PayPal. Program. I was like, what? Yeah. Thank you payroll. for the correction. Payroll. Yeah. Uh, payroll protection program. <laughs> uh -huh. um, and that turned into some type of loan. So, okay, you're mandating that I close my business, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you're going to loan me money at, at 1% to 3% that I have to pay my employees with, but I still have to pay interest on that money mm -hmm. that it's i mean think about that for a second why did they, so why crazy. couldn't we do what we're doing right now so for all so like all these barbershops beauty salons etc had to be closed right and which what is a, a whole nother issue in and of itself yeah. they shouldn't have had to do that no but so now we let them open in florida i, I don't i think georgia's open i don't think every state is open it's like county by county like yeah. some some counties like i just got my hair cut from my regular my regular person but you still mm -hmm. had to wear a mask and stuff to go in <laughs> yeah yeah, same um, here. yeah. Raquel, but, you, you're yeah. in texas right are you in texas right now i don't know uh, I'm yeah in Atlanta. i'm in yeah. texas she's in texas okay so so you so they're open over there right yeah, I, I'm in Conroe. Okay. And yeah, they just opened. They opened on Friday. Okay. So. So. But you still have to wear a mask while you're in there and while they do your hair and stuff. Okay, and then you have to sit outside in the car or something, right? You have to sit outside in the car. Do you have to? What do you mean? Like it when so if you're waiting for your appointment, I know that the barber shops here. If you're if it's not so the only person that could be in there is the barber and the one dude getting his hair cut, and then everyone has to sit in their cars and wait for um. You know, wait for their turns. <laughs> that's, that's nuts. No, that's it, just crazy. It, it was not at the salon I went to. It wasn't like okay. that. You can, but it wasn't like a big salon. You know? Oh, okay, yeah. But I think the way that that we did it here was they did they set appointments, so they stagger the appointment time. So when you get there, like you just go in and you sit down. The whole place is empty, mm -hmm. and then you'll, the person on the other side will be getting their hair cut too. But you're pretty far apart, mm -hmm. and I I guess they just stagger the appointment times, so mm -hmm. they're not able to take as many many people because obviously you have to like uh what account for what 30 45 minutes per person yeah plus you have to factor in the fact that they're probably going to be running late so about an hour you maybe get six people a day okay so i'm going to ask talk this about not being able to to make ends meet potentially yeah, it, yeah. it's uh, rough man <laughs> and that that just goes into you know the government shouldn't be allowed to dictate that that's something mm -hmm. as a small business if i want to take the risk mm -hmm. of opening my business that's my decision. Mm -hmm. And if exactly. you if, if you as a free American decide that you want to take the risk of going out of your house into my business and, you know, peruse my wares, that's complex between two consenting adults yeah. to mm -hmm. to do. If you catch um, that COVID, you catch the COVID. Yeah, that's yeah. on you, you know, yes. and we're not yeah. children. Um, and yes, the argument can be made like, oh, we have to do what's best for the for everybody. That sounds like communism. 
All right. <laughs> yeah. So that's downside. <laughs> but also, people are getting sick anyway, right? So in New York, there were all these people that got sick that were sheltering in place or staying home or whatever, right. and then they got they got sick anyway. But here's one of my things, and I'm going to use some vernacular from a friend of mine that uh, grew up in West Virginia. Why come? Why come? We couldn't do wow. that. Why did we have to shut everything down? <laughs> Why come people couldn't just sit in their cars in the first place? I yeah. I know. Whoa. At least we don't have to deal with small talk like when you're in a store or something. <laughs> oh, it's almost as if yes, I love it. The yeah. entire country is flying by the seat of its pants right now. At least when it comes to to lawmakers. Yeah, we're just, just making it up. Just make it up as we yeah. go. We'll they see what know. happens. Who knows? Yeah, they don't know what. I will. Absolutely. I will tell you though. It's the best it's ever been as far as uh, getting in and out of a store and getting anything done. It's so fast. I can I, I really hope that it stays this way even after everything is passed. Like the ability to go into a store and just get in and get out. Nobody's bothering you. Everybody actually moves out of your way. Mm-hmm. Like if they see if they see you coming down the aisle and they're looking at something, you're like. Mm-mm, I'm out of the way. I'm going to, you yeah. do this back out of the way. You go in and grab it, and you get you get out. So, I love it. So, what do you what do you think the bars are going to be like when they open? Is everyone going to be rocking masks in the bar? And I haven't like, been to a bar in a very long time, so yeah, that, that part doesn't, doesn't seriously. Apply to me. We are talking about the future of the planet. <laughs> the future of someone. No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> and I'm thinking about the bars. Like, yeah. How are the bars? Work? Just like how are the bars? <laughs> yeah. Don't take my bar away from me. Have you been? Well, so have you been to any bars? Has any bars opened up where you're at? No. They have restaurants open that have like bars in them, but oh okay, no, not really. Bars are still shut down, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> I I uh do so. Let me ask this. I'm gonna start with Babyface. Do you think we're ever going back to normal, or is this like Matt just said? Is this forever <laughs> from now on? We will and, forget about this by the middle of next year. That wasn't. Uh, that, Holy crap! <laughs> That That wasn't, like, because I had a bunch of beans or anything like that. That was Florida. By the middle of next year, this will be like Ebola. We will have forgotten about it, and everybody will be like, oh, remember when we shut the entire country down? And you'll still have people that will be like, oh, my God, the world is ending. But it's not. We all know it's not. Yeah. Um, And someone says, uh, Hector Lopez. Oh, that's actually my brother-in-law. Hector Lopez says, not in New York City. Lines are long outside the stores. Um my, my, there anymore. Yeah. No, just move. It's time to move. Yeah. To my, yeah. to, to, move to, to, to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Atlanta is <laughs> easy here. Raquel, they didn't even give me a chance to say it. <laughs> they, they, they already said what I was going to say. Like, that's because you're in New York, son. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. This, yeah. It, listen, it probably sucks to be in New York right now. But uh, we shouldn't have. New York City shouldn't be the way it is, in my personal opinion. You get, yeah. yeah. I'm going to agree with everyone. You got to get out of there. But, yeah. you know, it's the big city. It's a rat hole. Yeah. He says, he also says a new society will emerge. Uh, what do you think about this, Brickell? Is this forever? Um, No, I, I think it'll get back to normal, honestly. But I think masks might become like this new fashion statement because. <clears throat> I would agree you know, with that. People yeah. have been getting creative out there. Yeah, well, we've seen it. We've seen it in um, in Asian countries already, right? That like you, it's impolite now if you don't wear a mask. Um, you know, but I I don't know. I'm in the group. I'm in the group of people that I don't want to freaking wear a mask. I'm not wearing a mask. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I hope we I, don't I get don't. into that. Yeah, I almost got kicked out of Home Depot. Yes, yeah. uh, like two days ago, they have this mandatory mask thing. So luckily, I had one in my car, but yeah. I really, really needed to go. They were like, "You can't come in, sir." I'm gonna get the in. scariest masks I... in the world if I have to wear a mask. I'm wearing a mask and be like, "This guy's gonna rob me." I I almost got into an argument with the person outside of Walmart, and then I was like, "That dude's making like seven fifty yeah. an hour, and he does not give a shit about what I have to say." Like. Why waste my time? Don't fight with so, the dude in Walmart. No, so I was just like, I'm just going somewhere else. Yeah, this. it's not worth it. Uh, <laughs> shooting Gallery NE gave us five bucks. He says, I'm looking uh, forward to going back to bouncing because the amount of people that will be flocking to them, to the bars. So there you go. Uh, so, Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? What do you think we're going? Do you think we're going back to normal, Matt? Um, No, I think this is the new normal. I think that, you know, Things will slowly maybe get a little bit less intrusive. They're going to 
start allowing you to do what you want to do. The government's going to have, you know, release their death grip on society. Uh, however, I do think that the masks are a long-term thing. Yeah. Uh, you're going to see people all over the place. Yeah, that's that's normal. The only Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.